Hello viewers, in today's video in my YouTube channel we will discuss on symptoms of faulty intake air temperature sensor. The intake air temperature IAT, sensor is an important component of a vehicle's engine management system. It measures the temperature of the incoming air and provides this information to the engine control unit ECU, for proper fuel delivery and ignition timing. In most vehicles, the IAT sensor is located somewhere in the intake system near the air filter housing or the throttle body. When the IAT sensor is faulty or malfunctioning, it can lead to various symptoms. Here are some common signs of a bad intake air temperature sensor. Number 1. Incorrect idle speed. A faulty IAT sensor may send incorrect temperature readings to the ECU, causing the engine to idle too high or too low. You may notice the engine revving up and down erratically or stalling frequently. Number 2. Hard starting. If the IAT sensor provides inaccurate readings, it can affect the air fuel mixture, making it difficult for the engine to start. You may experience extended cranking before the engine fires up. Number 3. Rough or uneven idle. An improperly functioning IAT sensor can disrupt the air fuel ratio, leading to a rough or uneven idle. The engine may feel shaky or unstable when idling, and you may notice vibrations or fluctuations in the RPM gauge. Number 4. Decreased fuel efficiency. A faulty IAT sensor can cause the ECU to supply an incorrect amount of fuel to the engine, resulting in poor fuel efficiency. You may need for more frequent refueling. Number 5. Engine hesitation or surging. Inaccurate temperature readings from the IAT sensor can cause the engine to hesitate or surge during acceleration. You may experience a delay in response when pressing the accelerator pedal or sudden bursts of power. Number 6. Check engine light, CL, illuminates. A malfunctioning IAT sensor can trigger the check engine light on the dashboard. The vehicle's onboard diagnostic system detects the issue and stores a corresponding trouble code. To retrieve the trouble code associated with the IAT sensor, you will need a diagnostic scanner. Locating the vehicle's diagnostic port, connecting the diagnostic scanner, turn on the scanner, scanning for trouble codes, viewing the codes, and interpret the codes are the step-by-step -step guide procedures to retrieve the trouble codes. By retrieving the trouble code, you can gain insight into the specific issue with the IAT sensor and take appropriate measures to diagnose and repair the problem. Some common error codes associated with faulty or malfunctioning IAT sensors include P0110, P0111, P0112, and P0113. P0110, Intake Air Temperature Circuit Malfunction, this code indicates a problem with the IAT sensor circuit, which could be caused by a faulty sensor, wiring issue. P0111, Intake Air Temperature Circuit Range, this code suggests that the signal from the IAT sensor is outside the expected range. It may be caused by a faulty sensor, a problem with the wiring or connector. P0112, Intake Air Temperature Circuit Low Input, this code indicates that the voltage signal from the IAT sensor is lower than the specified range. It can be caused by a short circuit, a faulty IAT sensor, or a problem with the wiring. P0113 Intake Air Temperature Circuit High Input This code indicates that the voltage signal from the IAT sensor is higher than the specified range. It can be caused by a faulty sensor, a problem with the wiring, or a malfunctioning ECU. P0114, Intake Air Temperature Circuit Intermittent. This code suggests that there is an intermittent issue with the IAT sensor circuit. It could be caused by a loose connection, a faulty sensor, or a wiring problem. It's important to note that these symptoms can also be caused by other issues within the engine management system. Therefore, if you suspect a problem with the IAT sensor, it's recommended to have a qualified mechanic diagnose the issue to ensure an accurate repair. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please like it and leave a comment. If you are new to the channel, please click the subscribe button.